Hello beautiful ladies of my heart, welcome my newbies and welcome back my constant viewers. All right ladies, today is Jerome Alexander Stackables. It's another all-in-one foundation. I did the whoosh last week, loved that, and now I'm going to do the stackables and this is a really cute idea. So I ordered mine in medium and they came in a different order but I restacked them the way that I apply them. So the first one is this cream foundation. Cream to powder is what it said. Then the uh, blushes and highlighter. They don't have a bronzer. Okay. And then their eyeshadow quad. Looks pretty. This is a mineral foundation. I would probably apply this at the very end. But you could wear it by itself. And then here is the lipstick quads. <laughs> So, we're going to get started. Like I said, you can just stack them any way you want. You can. They gave you two lids, so you can pull it apart if you want to stack it, or just want to take like the lipsticks and the powder. Then, they came with this cute little brush set of the travel size. I have my It Complexion Brush. It's a wound bar. So what I did, ladies, is I put my brows on because this doesn't come with brow or mascara. It doesn't come with any primer. I will list everything in the description box below the Jerome Alexander and the stuff I'm wearing in addition. I am going to start with their foundation because I already did my uh, concealer to cover my spots. Okay, I'm going to use brushes. Okay, I usually use a blender, but I'm going to try this. Okay, I'm dip, dip, dipping. Here we go. I can't see. Dip, dip, dip. Mm. Boy, oh, pretty. Yesterday, it was 62. Today, it's going to be 47 and cloudy, and the wind's just blowing. Birds are flying by. I feel like I'm in the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Oh, this is pretty, ladies. My skin is very hydrated. Mm, color's perfect, I think. But it says it's cream to powder. I'm not sure what that means. It goes on like a cream and sits like a powder. <laughs> like sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Maybe a blender would have been a better way to apply it. Yeah, it is setting in the line. Okay, I decided to get me a wet blending brush because I don't like the way that this is going on. It's not going on as smooth as the whoosh foundation, the powder. This is the blush. I'm going to take their little fluffy one like here and I'm going to dip it in the blush and medium. So this looks kind of like a, a tawny Not much color. Okay. Use it to add a little more, you know, a little more contoury, a little more color to it. Yeah, I'm not really sure, ladies. Okay, and then they have the highlight. And I have to get, uh, let me see what a little highlight brush would be from them. I'll just take this one. This little tiny thing within the highlight. And I think I'm going to go up here. Oh yeah, it is highlighty. It's kind of a golden color. And the blush has um, highlight in it as well, kind of glimmery. Oh no, now I've got the eyeshadows. One of their little brushes like this. I don't think these would be my favorite brushes to use because I have favorite brushes. I'm going to take the lighter of the color here, this for. It's kind of a peachy, tawny. And I'm going to use it to go over. Now these are shimmery too. It's almost the same color as the highlighter. I'll go up there. So, so far, <laughs> wish, is, wish is working better for me. All right, that was a lighter cuddler on the lid. I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm going to go into the pink, <laughs> or the it's it's more like of a, a whiny mauve, and we're going to go up here. So they're all shimmer. Yep. So we're just going to be quick about this. Yeah, 
I like my brushes better. I don't know. I'm a shimmer. It's a shimmer day. This is what I used. This is what I used to put the base light color on. Yeah. Take one of my tinier ones because I want I want more one like this. This is my it corner brush, and I'm going to take it in this burnt sienna or whatever, and I'm going to go here. Yeah, all shimmery do's. They didn't give you a choice. This palette was 59 and the refillables I think are like 14. So I'm not liking all shimmer eyeshadows. So it's like if that's all you have. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not mm, it's not what I'd like to take and wear as an everyday look. I'm gonna take that bronzer color again. And I'm gonna go right here, do a little bit of a something there to kind of pull it together because it's kind of like a semi halo eye. Use my NYX brown tight line. Well, I I like to take it right on the top. Okay, you've seen me do this before, so I'll just do it quick without yapping. I just love how pigmented the NYX, they, they work both for on your eye and waterline. I love Rimmel too. Not much color on the cheeks at all. So you would have to build that quite a bit. So let's see what's next. Now this is the powder. So I'm going to go ahead and take the brush that I used in their little set. I'm going to swirly girly gumdrop it. And I'm going to go in my T-zone. Mm -hmm. I'll try using this one by itself. Okay, so that's that's the sheen, that's the mineral powder. It's got little flecks in it. I'm not sure what that is. And then last but not least are the lipsticks. Okay, I will get their little lip. I'm gonna lip line with a neutral. I'm using my Revlon Nude Lipstick Lip 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 Liner. Okay, beautiful lady. Somehow I deleted the whole section of putting on my lipstick. So I'm inserting it again. I do not have the makeup on, but we will do the lips because you need to see this. <laughs> oh, the dangers of editing on YouTube. I really like this nude. I really do. It's just... It goes on and it stays, I'll have to say. We're going to go on to the color. And the color I had picked is this lighter pink here. So I'm going to dip their little brush in there, their little lip brush. And here we go. Oh! It's like a coral. Very creamy. The lipstick is probably my favorite out of this so far. They're very pretty. Okay, back to the show. Okay, beautiful ladies. This is the finished product. I am not at all impressed. I'm very disappointed. I, this is such a great idea, uh, but I, I was not impressed with any of the products. The lipstick is pretty, but I have a lot of beautiful lipsticks, but for the idea of having it all in one place is great. This, this whole thing has got me thinking about something. A DIY, making your own makeup travel palette that will have all of the items in it. Because we have so many products already, to be able to use them is going to be fantastic. And with what I'm going to put them in, they will just throw in your bag. It's going to be wonderful. Don't miss it. All right, everybody, stay warm. I've got snow out here and 900 mile an hour winds. Yesterday was 62 and beautiful. I just, you know, I don't know what season it is. And I don't think Idaho does either. All right, I love you guys so very much. Lala is really going outside.